assalamu alaikum dear student in today's lecture we will discuss about induced breeding how we can induce breeding in indian major calves uh, in today's lecture we will discuss in detail how this procedure procedure could be done and uh, what is the suitable season when we can induce breeding in indian major calves actually uh, when we talk about the breeding it actually concerned with the pituitary gland which is also known as hypophysis and this extract is termed as hypophysation the credit for developing the technique of uh, technique of hypophysation in the world is goes to the brazilian while the pioneers of hypophysation of indian major calves are uh, two authors are choudhry and alikoni induced breeding refer to induced fish to release gamete during the application of pituitary extractor hormones or chemicals it means when we uh, insert the chemical or hormone in the body of the fish the fish uh, will be prepared to release the gametes in the uh, in water and when uh, the gametes will be released in the water then male and female gamete will be uh, combined and a uh, zygote will be formed and as a result a new offspring can be produced in uh, water as the fish is a cold blooded organism and it do external fertilization and so when the gametes will be released the fertilization will be in water or in external brood fish care uh, what we should do the recommended stocking density of calf brood fish is 1000 to 3000 kg per hectare and it depend upon the fish while uh, rahu and marigella are stocked in higher rate uh rahu marigella katla all these are indian major carp and we can stock high number of fish like rahu and marigella uh, uh in one hectare as compared to katla because katla we can stock at a lower rate as compared to both these fish since it require more space for proper gonad development why we should stock uh, less number of katla as compared to rahu and marigella because it need more space for proper gonad development earlier the carp brought fish was fed with the traditional diet while uh, this diet we are talking about when we are going to induce the uh, hormone in the body of the fish we should fed the fish with a normal traditional diet uh, that contain rice bran and oil cake at the feeding rate of 1 to 2% of body weight daily then uh, grass carp also given tender aquatic uh, weeds and terrestrial grass as a uh, grass carp uh, it is uh, can fed on the grass and the common uh, carp brood fish needs separation from other carp species since segregated sex wise and stocked in separate pond to prevent accidental spawning in the pond the rest of the species can be stocked in a communal pond are after species wise or sex wise segregation it is necessary to separate the fish from other fish and uh, it is uh, better when uh, we separate the fish on the basis of sex male and female uh, separately and also separate the fish on the basis of species like marigella and katla and rahu on separate pond katla in particular did needs to separate it from the rest of the species as it show poor response to hormonal injection when stocked with other species um it means when you will stock uh, all these fish in one pond the katla will respond less to hormones that to inject in its body so uh, it should be separated from other fish it is believed that katla brought fish needs special care and diet such as deposition of mesenteric fat in maturation phase doesn't matter hinder uh, gonad development of the species then uh, identification of sex of the brooder it is a prerequisite to induce breeding of the fish fish is sexually dimorphic and sexual dimorphism it means the male and female both are morphologically and uh, uh, internal anatomically they both are different with each other so also on the cer uh, certain morphological external characters which induced Uh, which include size length weight coloration fin characters modification in the head of the form all these are the characters that could be seen different in both sexes male and female and calves are also dimorphic mature male and female are morphologically different and some of the external morphological characters which are developed during the breeding season could be used to identify sex in mature calves which uh, while mature during their second or third year 
Uh, here are different characters that you can observe in male and female. When, when we talk about the abdomen in male, it will be round and firm uh, during spawning season or during um, when we will induce the hormone in the body of the organism. And the female body will be swollen and soft and genital opening will be elongated and uh, silt in case of male and round and pink in case of female. When pressure applied on the abdomen, the male will milky uh, will release milky white fluid through genital opening and female will release a few ova through genital opening and the shape of the body and size in case of male is a linear and swollen while in case of female it is slightly larger and shorter breeding technique how we should breed how uh, uh, we can induce the hormone and which season is the suitable for the induction of hormone or chemical inside the body it is the most preferable uh, season for uh, induction of a chemical or hormone inside the body is southwest monsoon or june and male and female brooders are conditioned for a few hour prior to induction Injection set of brooders are formed. Uh, we should uh, kept one female and two ma male in uh, for breeding, and the injection brooders are released in the breeding hapa. What is actually hapa? Hapa is a box shaped cloth enclosure which is made up of cloth generally of size two multiply one multiply one meter with provision to close its top after releasing brooders. The upper flap is attached to one side and the other side are either tied or bottom. The hapa is fixed in a canal or a pound and the upper side should be closed and the lower side uh, should not be closed and the hapa should be placed at above the water level. Injection of brooders, when we inject uh, the chemical or hormone inside, inside the body, we can uh, uh, induce in three different ways. Either it can be intramuscular injection, intraperitoneal injection, or intracranial injection. Intramuscular injection, it is administered into the muscle of caudal pattern. Uh, are behind the dorsal fin or above the lateral line. It is more effective, convenient, simple, and less risky. It is widely practiced. And the second one is intraperitoneal injection. It is also given through the soft uh, region of the body, generally at the base of pelvic uh, fin or pectoral fin. And the intracranial injection is also a method through which we can inject the hormone and chemical in the body through the cranium and also risky it may damage the brain. So the most practicing uh, is intramuscular injection above all these that we discussed. Then uh, pituitary extract is administered through the glass or disposal, uh, disposable syringe through ml capacity having 0.1 ml graduation. The size of the needle depends upon the uh, weight of the brooder to the injection. Needle size, needle number should be 22 is used for fish weight 1 to 3 kg and number 19 can be used and number 24 can be used for smaller fish. Intramuscular injection is commonly practiced. The hormone injection is given at the caudal pattern a region is uh, between the posterior and of the dorsal fin or base of the caudal fin above the lateral line, avoiding the lateral line actually. And the spawning brooder should not be disturbed once they are released into the harpa. After about six hours, splashing will commence for the breeding and be involved in the courtship will uh, continue for one year and at the climax of the courtship both the partners will be seen in the immerse with their body twisted around each other this exert pressure on the abdomen resulting in extrusion of the gametes the following morning the spent brooders are removed and then the eggs are collected and transferred for hatching in a suitable hatching device and then examination of egg when the fish will release the eggs inside the body, you can examine it. And after the eggs are water hardened, uh, a sample of the water egg is taken in a beaker for assessing quality and quantity. The fertilized eggs are transparent with the clearly visible nucleus at the center. And the unfertilized egg are opaque, white nucleus disintegrate within one hour. So. On this basis, you can select which egg and is fertilized and which egg is not fertilized. Then fertilization rate, uh, what 
is the maximum fertilization rate you can calculate uh, by using this formula. Fertilization rate is equal to number of fertilized egg over total number of egg multiplied by 100. And the hatching rate it can be uh, estimated by knowing the total number of spawn and number of spawn in a known or volume. And you can uh, calculate uh, the hatching rate also by using this formula. This, uh, this is all about how uh, we can induce the breeding in uh, major carbs. Um, I hope you like the lecture. If you like the lecture, please uh, subscribe, share and like the video. Stay connected. Allah Hafiz.